Daily English conversation topics. These common topics in daily life will help you get familiar with English. Let's watch and learn together. Part one. How many people are there in your family? Oh, this picture is great. It took place when I was a child, a long time ago. You looked so cute. My face looked weird. <laughs> But this picture only showed you and your parents, right? Yes, my mother had not given birth to my sister at that time. So now, how many people are there in your family? There are five members in my family. Who are they? My parents, my younger sister, my little brother, and me. Oh, so you have two sisters and brothers? Yes, they are very naughty, but I love them very much. So is my younger sister. Sometimes she even fights with me. I find it very fun. How old is your brother? He is two years old. Wow, I didn't think you had such a young brother. Did you have a happy childhood? Yesterday, I read my diary again from when I was a child. Really, do you still keep it? Of course, it's memorable. I want to keep all of the memories. What was it about? Your childhood? Exactly. Did you have a happy childhood? Yes, I had a happy life with my whole family in a beautiful city. That's great. And I had a lot of friends who always fought with me because of toys. But we still keep in touch till now. I'm sure those are all good memories for you. Yes. Now, when I reread what I wrote, I feel both funny and happy. It's a pity that when I moved, I lost my childhood diaries. You still have pictures from childhood. I have seen them. <laughs> It's funny. Do you like visiting historical places? I'm going to visit the history museum this weekend. Wow, I didn't know if you liked it. When I was a child, I usually went to the museums with my father. It was great. How about you? Do you like visiting historical places? I do too. I went to these places when I took a trip with my class or with my family. We are the same. Do you want to go with me? Of course. So when will you have time? Saturday or Sunday? I'm free this weekend. I don't have to go to school. Good. I want to go on Sunday. No problem. I will come and pick you up. We'll go together. Okay. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> so am I. Have you ever been in a traffic accident? What happened to you this morning? I saw you quickly run somewhere. My brother had an accident, so I ran to the hospital. Oh, sorry. How was your brother? Fine, luckily. It was just a small accident. What was the accident? A traffic accident with a car. Is everything okay? Yes, it's okay. Good. Have you ever been in any traffic accident? Yes, I have. When I was a student, I was going to school. A motorbike hit me, and I fell on the street. Oh, and then 
I fainted and was rushed to the emergency room. Were you seriously injured at that time? I broke my leg and it took about two weeks to recover. How terrible that is! Right. How many places have you traveled to? I'm going to China next week. Wow, that's amazing. Right? I'm really interested in traveling. I want to know more about other countries. How many places have you traveled to? Let me see. Quite a lot. About ten places. Now, I also want to travel like you. You can travel on your vacation. I think so. But I'm so busy these days. Fighting? I'm sure you will have a great time in China. Have you traveled to China? Yes, three years ago. I have heard about Chinese cuisine. I'm so excited for this trip. You should try all of them. They are so great. How many rooms are there in your house? Welcome to my house. Thanks for inviting me to your house. I've just moved, so everything is still messy. I think it's still good. Thanks. This new house is bigger than the old one. That's right. How many rooms are there in your house? Five rooms. Living room, kitchen, bathroom, two bedrooms. It's great. I like your kitchen. It's so modern. I do too. But my favorite room is the living room. I think it's big. And its color is good, but do you think it is a little bit simple? I love something simple. Really, I prefer something that is colorful. Yes, everyone has their own style. How often do you read books? Where are you going? I'm on my way to the bookstore. What will you buy at the bookstore? I want to buy some new books to read on the weekend. Do you like reading books? Yes, I am a big fan of reading books. How often do you read books? Whenever I have time, on the weekend, before going to bed, when having breakfast. <laughs> That sounds great. What kind of books do you like? I read all kinds of books, but what I like most is novels. I used to read books twice a week. That's great. But now I don't have much time to continue reading. I always save my time and read as much as possible. For example, before sleeping. What are the benefits of regularly reading newspapers? I didn't see the newspaper delivery person come to my house today. Do you read newspapers every day? Of course, I always read it. When do you usually read it? In the morning, when I have breakfast. My father also likes reading the newspaper in the morning. It's useful, isn't it? Really? What are the benefits of regularly reading newspapers? You will know a lot of news, information from all over the world. What is it about? All aspects: politics, economy, society, culture. I already know why my father reads newspapers and magazines every day. You should do that as well. Well, I think so. I will read it with my father next morning. Okay. How often do you eat out? 
I really want to have beef steak for dinner. We can eat together. Really? Do you cook it at home? Yes. Oh dear. Why do you cook such a difficult dish like that? No, it's easy to make. If I were you, I would go to the restaurant. I know. It saves time. But I don't like it much. I see you usually cook at home. How often do you eat out? Sometimes, only when I am lazy or tired. I prefer to cook by myself. How did you learn to cook? I learned from my mom when I was a child. Really? And cooking for me now is a hobby. I like cooking new dishes. I want to try your dishes. Of course. Now I will make beef steak for you. What type of website do you often search for? These days, I use the laptop a lot. For what? For searching information for my assignments. Is this helpful? That's right. What type of website do you often search for? Some websites are related to science and geography, because I need the information to finish homework. Do you access some websites for entertainment? Of course, when I finish my work, I search for some games and some movies to watch and relax. For me, I mostly use it to play games. I want to research things in books. Yes, I used to use books, but using some websites on the internet is faster. Hmm. I will try it later. What was the most recent gift you received? Next Sunday is Amy's birthday. I know. Have you bought a gift for her? Not yet. I don't know what I should buy. Me too. She likes a lot of things. We don't know what she likes most. Um, what was the most recent gift you received? A book. Wow. On what occasion did you receive it? On Christmas, from my mother. That's great. How about giving Amy a book on her birthday? Good idea. But what types of book does she like? Do you know that? She has told me before that she is interested in novels. Cool. So we can buy it for her. I totally agree with you. So let's go to the bookstore. Okay. Daily English conversation topics. Part two. How many events have you joined this year? Do you still remember our company's anniversary? What? Don't you remember? I forgot it. When? This weekend, Saturday. Oh. I remember. You have told me before. Sure. Why do you always forget the events? I have to participate in many of them. Sometimes I forget the schedule. How many events have you joined this year? So many, from birthdays, anniversaries, workshops, conferences. Oh dear, that's the reason why you usually forget them. I need someone who reminds me. Yes, it's me. <laughs> That's right. Thanks a lot. Do you prefer watching movies at home or in the theater? Yesterday, I watched an old blockbuster. What was that? Avengers. 
and game. Ah, uh, I watched it at the movie theater. Did the theater show it again? No, I watched it at home. Oh, I got it. Do you prefer watching movies at home or in the theater? In the theater. I love the atmosphere in the theater. It's a good way to hang out with friends. I know, but I prefer watching movies at home. Why? I want to watch alone, and nothing will distract me. It depends on one's characteristics. Right. Have you ever traveled abroad? Have you prepared for our trip this weekend? Oh, I don't know what I should prepare. I list a lot of things. Have you ever traveled abroad? I haven't, so I'm confused about preparing. Okay, I got it. I will help you. Thanks. We're going to Vietnam in four days. It's not too long, so you don't need to carry lots of clothes. Yes, but this time in Vietnam is summer. I need to buy some summer clothes. And you ought to bring some personal belongings. I know. Passport, money to buy souvenirs. Of course. Maybe because I'm so excited, I don't know if I have enough stuff. Don't worry. What is your hobby? Today is the weekend. That's great, right? We can do everything we want. What is your hobby? I like swimming. Sometimes I love watching movies. I like swimming too. Cool. We have a a lot in common. Do you like reading? Um, not really. I mean, I don't hate it, but I don't like it much. Okay, I got it. How about swimming together? Sure, I'm free today. Me too. So let's go to the swimming pool now. Do you want to go to the bookstore after that? I want to buy some things. Wow, good idea. What occasions do you usually have parties in your country? What are you doing? I'm preparing for our company's party, food and drink. Oh, do you need help? I have a lot of experience in holding a party. Of course, thanks. On what occasions do you usually have parties in your country? Lots of occasions: birthdays, weddings, anniversaries, grand openings. I think we are the same in holding parties. I just came to your country to work, so I don't know much about your culture. Don't worry, then you'll get used to it soon. I hope so. I'm sure there will be a lot of fun at the party. I'll enjoy it. Why don't we start to prepare for parties now? Sure. What subjects did you learn in school? Dad, can you teach me how to solve this homework? What is it about? It's geography. Oh, when I was a student, I was quite good at this subject. Great. So, what subjects did you learn in school? I think they were the same as you. Are they math, literature, history, geography? Yes, and they are art, music. Yes, I'm really bad at music. <laughs> the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Me too. 
maybe I prefer history and geography. Good. What type of museum is popular in your country? We're going to visit the American Museum of Natural History. I'm so excited. Me too. This is the first time I have visited the Natural History Museum. Oh, really? What type of museum is popular in your country? Art museum. Wow, I haven't visited this kind of museum. The most famous is the Louvre Museum. Ah, I have heard about it before. Is it in Paris? Right. I always want to visit it. You should visit it when you have a chance to go to France. Of course. And I will go with you. I visited it many times. I know. It's your hometown. Which hotel do you like the most? I'm going to work in New York this Friday. Great! New York is a beautiful city. Have you been to New York for business many times? Exactly. So maybe you have a lot of experience here. Can I ask you something about choosing a hotel? Sure. Be free to ask. This is the first time I have worked in New York, so I don't know how to choose a good hotel to live in. Ah, don't worry. I have a few suggestions for hotels that I have stayed in. Really? Great. I will send it to you with its contacts. Which hotel do you like the most? I'm not sure. They are all great. Please choose according to your preferences. Okay. Anyway, thank you so much for helping me. Don't mention it. Who is your favorite teacher? Have you finished the math homework? Sure. I'm so scared that if I don't finish it before going to class. Right. Mr. Alex is so strict. We have to finish all our homework. Miss Jenny is more gentle. She is so nice. I agree with you. Who is your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher is Mr. John. Mr. John, our art teacher. Yes, he is so friendly and he has a sense of humor. And if I remember correctly, he is an artist, and he can also sing. Very talented. You're right. So many students like him because of that. Everyone likes friendly people. Of course. Who wrote this letter to you? Hey, Anna. I saw the post office box in front of your house with a letter. I took it for you. Really? Thank you. Who wrote this letter to you? Let me see. It is from Korea. Korea? Yes, I have a friend in Korea. Oh, I don't know that. We first met at summer camp in Paris last year. Wow. Do you keep in touch with her? Of course. We usually write letters to each other. It's good to have such foreign friends. Right? We always share about our class, our dreams, and plans. It's fun. I had a pen pal about three years ago, but we lost contact with each other one year ago. Oh, what a pity! Who's your best friend? What's wrong with you? You look so upset. 
<sighs> I have some problems. What is that? It seems like everything is so serious. I don't know what I should do now. I'm so confused. When you run into trouble, you should share with others. Who? You can tell your family, your best friend. Okay. What do you do when you have problems? I share it with my best friend. Everything. Who's your best friend? Anna. She and I have known each other for ten years. I always see you have a very good relationship, right? So the best way to release stress is to tell others. Okay, I got it. Or you can share with me. I'm always willing to hear you. Thanks. What kind of music do you like? This song is great, right? I liked its melody the first time. This is my first time listening to this kind of music. I usually listen to rap music. Wow, what kind of music do you like? I like ballad or pop music. It's soothing, and I can reduce my stress. I like something stronger, like rap or hip hop. Each type of music has its own unique style, right? I'll listen to this kind of pop music. It's pretty easy to listen to and engaging. It's very chill, isn't it? You're right. Daily English conversation topics, part three. Do you like shopping? Do you like shopping? Of course, it's my hobby. But why? Ah, do you want to go shopping with me? Good idea. But when? Tomorrow. Oh, I will be busy. What a pity. How about this weekend? Let me see. Hmm, I think it's fine. Cool, but what will you buy? I want to buy a dress for my class meeting next week. Okay, I got it. I know a store has many new arrivals. We can come to the store and then go to the shopping mall. Sure. Are you an animal lover? This puppy is so cute. I just adopted it yesterday. I like the color of its fur. I love its eyes. Are you an animal lover? I love animals. Do you have other pets at your home? Of course. What are they? I have two cats and a dog. Do they have names? Yes, the two cats are named Lucas and Lily, and the dog is named Milo. How about this puppy? I am thinking of it. What do you think of Leo? Great, I love this name. Do you like to cook? I'm too lazy to eat out. You can cook it yourself. I don't think I can. It's so easy. Do you like to cook? I usually cook at home. Sometimes, I go out to eat with friends. I know it's good when you cook at home. Yes, it's not difficult for you to learn how to cook. Can you teach me? Okay, but I just know some simple dishes. It's fine. Okay, I will teach you when we both have time. Sure. 
Now, I think you should order something to eat. I think so. Is fried chicken okay? Cool. How many popular festivals are there in your country? Today is Thanksgiving Day. We have a day off. In Japan, we don't have Thanksgiving. How many popular festivals are there in your country? There are a lot of popular festivals, but I think the best one is the Oshu Gatsu holiday. What is that? It is quite similar to New Year's Eve. Do you like it? Of course! I studied abroad in the US for about two years, and I can't enjoy this holiday in my country. Do you miss it? Sure. I remember the old days. We ate a lot of traditional foods and went to visit temples on the very first days of the new year. Ah, I have seen the picture in your room. You were wearing a kimono. Was it taken at this festival? Exactly! We tend to use traditional things in our traditional festivals, from cuisine to clothes and some customs. I hope I can have a chance to join this festival. What practical skills have you learned? Jenny, how is it going? I'm good. I'm pretty bored working from home. I think there are a lot of benefits when we work from home. What are they? It saves a lot of my time, and I have learned some skills. Really? What practical skills have you learned? Cooking skills. That's fun, because you can't eat out, right? That's right. So, I need to learn it. How have you learned? I searched on the internet and YouTube. Ah, I got it. I saw some pictures of dishes that you uploaded on your Facebook. No, I failed many times. Don't worry about that. What school did you go to? What are you doing? I'm preparing to go to our school anniversary day. Wow, it's great. You're so beautiful. Thanks. What school did you go to? I used to go to the Hockaday School. Ah, I know this. The school is very famous. It is in the top 50 best schools in America. I was so proud when I got into the school. When was the school built? A long time ago. Today is the school's 108th anniversary. And students in the school are also talented and excellent. Right. I have heard that the teaching quality is so great. Right. Everything in my school is good. How? It is a good environment for students to improve their talents and their dreams. I'm sure you are excited to come back to your old school. Yes, I want to meet my old friends and my old teachers. What sport do you like? What do you usually do in your free time? A lot of things. What are they? Playing sports, reading, listening to music. I love playing sports too. Great. What sport do you like? I love playing badminton. Me too. We are the same. And sometimes I play volleyball. Ah! I like it, but I don't know how to play it. It's great. I can teach you later if you want to learn. Great!
I know it's very good for my health. What's the most useful household appliance that you have? What did you buy yesterday? A microwave oven. Is it useful? Yes, but I don't think it is the most useful one. Really? What's the most useful household appliance that you have? For me, it is a washing machine. It's popular. Is it really the most useful one? Right. Helps me a lot. How? Saving my time, for example. I got it. I don't have to spend hours washing and cleaning all the clothes thanks to it. It is really amazing, isn't it? Right. Clothes are always clean and fragrant too. I hate washing clothes by hand. It's great to have it. What's the weather like in your country? Oh, it's snowing now. I haven't experienced this kind of weather before. What's the weather like in your country? In Singapore, the average annual temperature does not change too much. Is it cold or hot? Not really. Temperatures range from eighteen to thirty-eight degrees. So, does it ever snow? No. It's quite cold, but never as cold as here. How about raining? Does it rain often? Very often, but it helps the weather to be cooler. I am planning a trip to Singapore. What time should I go there? The best time for traveling in Singapore is in December, January, or February. Is it nice? Cool weather and many special festivals take place at this time. Okay. What's your favorite music band? When I was a child, I dreamed of being a member of a music band. Really? Is this dream crazy? No way. What's your favorite music band? The Beatles. Oh, I love this band too. Although this band has been popular for a long time, they are still legendary to this day. That's right. I love their song. I wanna hold your hand <laughs> very much. Love me do is my favorite song. Sometimes, when I have time. I always listen to their old songs. Everything is perfect, from melody, lyrics to music. Yes. Although there are a lot of new bands nowadays, I still love them. Where did you go on holiday? What's that? Ah,、uh, this is my family picture. We took it on our last holiday. Where did he go on holiday? I went to the Hawaii beach. Great! I used to go there. It's a very famous place. Right. It's so beautiful, isn't it? I can't agree with you more. I love its fresh air, and I love swimming. Me too. I want to go there to sunbathe. I wish I could stay in Hawaii. <laughs> You're so funny. We are still in New York. Just kidding. But I want to enjoy Hawaii's beach again. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel. To watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.